think the thing that surprised me the most about Bonnie and Clyde, because I just didn't know, but in my research I found just how poor they were. I had no idea that Clyde Barrow was living under a bridge, literally, at one point. So that really struck me, because it, it added a lot of context to why people were doing what they were doing. I think a lot of people think that Bonnie and Clyde lived this glamorous life and they were robbing banks and were rich. They weren't really big gangsters. They didn't have a lot of money. Sometimes the banks that they robbed didn't even have any. And it wasn't as glamorous as you would think it is. Oh, it's for $46 in a deal. $46.32, man. I thought that Bonnie and Clyde were just two outlaws that were on the run, that probably had no family. But really, in essence, the misconception I found is, was that, and actually, they were very much drawn to family. Bonnie. Yeah? You'll come see me, won't you? You know I will, Mom. You smoke, Bonnie Parker? Nope. How's Rise Christian? What I found really interesting is how completely definitive Bonnie was about the fact she did not smoke cigars. <laughs> Apparently, when they took hostages, one of the police officers asked her, is there anything you want me to tell the world? And the one message Bonnie wanted to give out to the outside world was, yeah, tell them I don't smoke cigars. <laughs> Cigarettes, not cigars. It's like, yes, I did murder him, but I didn't smoke that cigar.